The following program is sponsored by Paper Bags. Paper Bags. You can only use them once. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there, Wapu. I was just catching up on some reading. Remember this old chap? Oh, hello. Merry Christmas. Well, this year, we took that idea and we caramelized it. I'm Neville Jergen, or you may know me as the Ghost of Christmas Present. And this is... It's the Caroline Christmas Friday Hour. With your host with the most, the ghost of Christmas present. I thought I'd start out easy with a little ditty I wrote a while back. This is how you sound when you first start playing guitar. Even, even though I've been playing for over a year. To hear the sound come out like, I don't know what. To hear the sound come out like this really breaks my heart. But my practice methods are very unclear. my terrible song. Have fun. Sorry guys, I have to play with my mom today. Hi boys! Hey, you, Mrs. T! Hi, Mrs. T, ma'am. What do I do here? Oh yes, I punch trees, don't I? Yeah. Mom, you can punch faster than that. God. Oh, a box appeared! Uh, what do I do now? Pick it up! How many times do I have to tell you? Okay, okay. Oh, and then I just go back punching the tree Does again, anyone right? have a diamond? God, this is boring, isn't it? No, Mom! Or a diamond sword, even? Now I'm punching this wall and nothing seems to be happening at all. Oh! Let's play something else. That was funny. Speaking of funny, what's the fastest way to determine the sex of a chromosome? Pull down its genes. I didn't think of that joke. I tried to write one just for you. But, well, 
take a look at what happened. The Ghost of Christmas Past Writes a Joke by the Ghost of Christmas Past, Neville de Jurgen. I put on my smartest clothes, my smartest slippers, my smartest hair. I put on my glasses that I never wear. I got out my typewriter and started to type. And started to type. And started to type. But realized that's no good for researching, and I don't have any books on the subject. So I had to sit at this thingamabob for a while. As I stared in wonderment of what I was reading, I didn't quite understand. If you are cellular structure and function, you must always stop at definition to trace definitions equal of growing and and the foundation of all life energy is to buy a side due to explanation primary source of bias and have a definition that each person has a better use development that gen genes are segues and DNA molecules each organism has understanding that contains all information understanding is no matter what type of cell they are all cells have a cell membrane which separates the inside of the cell from its environment so i found some videos on the subject and watched them in wonderment Needless to say, it was too hard. Now let's hear from Vincent Man Talk, the ghost of Christmas future on the weather. How are you, Vincent? It's humiliating. That's why, Madge. Uh oh, hi, what? How's it's, the weather? It's, it's fine. It's weather. It feels like weather. That's what it feels like. What? It, if, uh, I don't... It, what? But, well, we were... What? I, w I was just saying... Well, we were told it was going to be a cold one this evening. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's sure cold on your side of I'm the monitor. professional... You tell you. Come on, this show like some kind of... Roll, roll the next yeah, thing, Yeah, roll please. the next thing, please. We're getting nowhere with this man. Throw a fireball now! I got it! I got Hi. it! I got 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 Frig, it! Frig! I picked up a friggin' health and I didn't fucking I got it! I got it! Language, boys! Sorry, Mrs. I Two. did it! Oh, yeah. Yes! <laughs> Quickly go through before anything else friggin' happens. Mom, where are you? We can't go through without you. I've been stuck on this fence the whole time. I Mom, didn't want to that's all the way at the beginning. You have to press Y, Mrs. T. Oh, thank you. Well, now I'm off on the wrong side. So, you want to animate? Ruth. Well, I got my friend rubies and crystals mixed together with Sir Fitzsimmons to help you with physical theater. Enjoy! Hello. I'm rubies and crystals mixed together with Soot Fitzsimmons, and this is Physical Theater for the Cartoonist. Before we get started today, I wanted to talk to you about warm-ups. For Physical Theater, 
The only warm-up you have to do is get up as early as possible, go to the coldest place that you can find, and run around screaming for about an hour. This should be a sufficient warm-up for you. Today we'll be learning about leading movements. We will lead movements with different parts of our bodies. The first leading movement will be with our hands. If you imagine all of your weight in your hands, how would you walk? Probably like a monkey. I will not demonstrate walking like a monkey to you, because I am not a monkey. I will not do monkey things, and I'm not going to act like a monkey just for your sake, so that you get entertained by my acting like a monkey. The most important physical theater movement to learn for leading with your hands is the wall climb. I will demonstrate it for you now. Did you see how my arm straightened, I bend down, and I jump perfectly while grabbing onto the wall and pulling myself up. This is exactly the way that someone would pull themselves up onto a wall. This is exactly how that looks. You can't change anything about it. This is what it looks like. Don't think it doesn't look any different than this. Now the animal that's attached to the movement by the hands is the monkey, as I already explained before. I will not, I will not do a monkey movement. How dare you suggest that to me? The next movement is leading by the chest. As you can see, if I lead by the chest, I look like a goon. But if I lead by the chest and put my hands on my head, I look like a deer. See how majestic I am? In fact, I have a job as a deer later on. The movement that is attached to the chest movement is the discus thrower because everyone knows what a discus thrower is and how they look when they're throwing a discus. I will demonstrate it for you now. As you could see, my chest was leading and my eyes were staying on the discus the whole time. The next movement will be the swimmer. This is leading with your nose. Your nose shall lead this movement. Your legs shall push this movement. The animal associated to this movement is the frog. That is all I will be teaching you today as you're all too stupid to grasp any more than that in just one day. You shouldn't even be learning all this. You should be going back to basics. But this is what I was told to do, so this is what I'm doing, and I'm the only one that's good at it. I am rubies and crystals mixed with soot Fitzsimmons, and this was learning physical theater for cartoonists. Thank you. Great advice, rubies and crystals mixed together with soot. It's about that time when we started to run out of ideas. So I just found this douchebag on the YouTubes and I think Siobhan. we'll like this one the most. Roll the freckled dork.
Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your boy. T O double D. Today, I'm here to talk about all the haters out there saying that I still got a foreleg because I wear a cummerbund. I can wear whatever the fuck I want to wear. I look cool in this, okay? I look cool in this. I ain't got no... Does it look like I have a foreleg still? Look, you can see my foot coming out. I'm not wearing shoes. You can't see any kind of other leg. Look, see? There's no foreleg coming out. I ain't still got it. I wear a cummerbund because I look cool and y'all just frontin', y'all just hatin', um, and, uh, y'all can go fuck yourselves. You! Alright, Toddettes, I'm gonna go now. I'll uh, sending out my love to all the people who like and comment and subscribe to my channel. Have a good one. To all the people who ain't hatin' for no reason. Ain't got no foreleg, alright? It doesn't look like I do. <sighs> alright, I love you guys. Peace! T O double D. Ha <laughs> What a dick! Here's another thing. Are you? We have to go through now. Oh, I've been stuck behind this gate for the whole time. Ugh, again? Mom, let me see. <sighs> it's glitched, you guys. She's really stuck. I guess we'll have to kill her or something. Oh my god! What a bunch of scoundrels. We go now to the ghost of Christmas past, Fiona Shaw. She's on location. Where? She says she can hear a jingle in the air. Is that right, Fiona? That's right, Neville. 
I'm here in County Leitrim, where some farmers said that they saw one of Santa's reindeer. Let's have a look. Oh, there it is! There it is! Oh, look at it. It got away. I'm Fiona Shaw, and this was an encounter with Santa's reindeer. And that brings us to the end of the caramelized Christmas variety hour. Aww. But don't be sad. I still have one more little ditty for you. Enjoy. I have done thee wrong this Christmas Eve, so on this day henceforth shall be, not of the little baby Jesus, but instead we will celebrate this little Christmas disco tree. And then him and all the children of the world say, Ho, ho, Christmas tree. Disco, disco, Christmas tree. Ho, ho, Christmas tree. Won't you come and disco with me? Ho, ho, Christmas tree. Disco, disco, Christmas tree. Ho, ho, Christmas tree. Disco, disco, Christmas tree. Christmas Variety Hour was filmed in front of a live studio audience.